what's up everybody, this is the Classic Tycoon here, and uh, before we get into this episode, I'm just going to apologize in advance, I'm under the weather today, <clears throat> I don't know if you can tell it in my voice, but I woke up with a, well it started last night, I, I just had a severe uh, sore throat, and well with the, help of, with the help of some cough drops and some Gatorade, um, I'm feeling much better, but my voice is still a little bit hoarse, so I'm apologizing for that in advance, but I definitely wanted to record this episode and get it out to you guys. And um, this is going to be the final episode of our Trinity Islands Let's Play series. You can see we are in August of year three, and we are actually nearing the end of August year three. So... Um, not a lot to do today, guys, <laughs> just like in the episode 8. Um, I'm just going to kind of go through the UI a little bit and talk about some things we don't normally talk about. And the first thing I'm looking at is kind of the, the ride's profits. Um, see, just a lot of stats. I'm interested in seeing what rides are making the most money. Um, I'm actually surprised by it. Trinity Mine Company seems to be making the most money per hour with Trinity Loop right behind it. I thought Trinity Loop would be um, the biggest money maker just because it's got that um, that on-ride photo section, but I think Trinity Mine Company is just a little bit more popular. And um, yeah, <coughs> I also like to use this to see which rides are not making any money and right now that's the car ride which is not surprising since we've got you know 40 cents per guest and it's a slow moving ride but um it's people are still riding it it's just not expensive enough for it to make any money and i don't really care about that we're nearing the end we're gonna be paying off our debt right very soon you can probably say i've already done a little bit of that in this episode <laughs> Another thing I'm interested in looking at, I, I don't I don't even remember if I've mentioned this before, but I thought it was interesting that the guests can actually ride their rowboats um, outside of the park boundaries. I never knew that before. That's interesting to me. All right. Some other stuff to look at here. Um, guest favorites. This is no surprise to me at all Trinity Mine Company's number one. I think that's the highest excitement rating I've got on a roller coaster. I can't quite remember, but it's also the first big roller coaster that the guests run into. So that makes sense with uh, Trinity Loop being in second and Batman Beyond a close third. Actually, you see they just switch, switch spots. But. Popularity. I don't know what this is. Um, if you guys know exactly what popularity means in this game, go ahead and throw it in the comment section below. I have no idea what that popularity percentage is. Um, same with the satisfaction. Like, what does that mean? What is 75% satisfaction rate? I, ne I notice it never really goes above 75%. That seems to be the highest. Um, but, yeah, I think that that's... That's something I just never learned in this game. I'm like, okay, there's 75% of the people are satisfied with this ride. I don't know. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below um, what those mean exactly, because I have no idea. All right. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do while we wait for our next ride to research is... I wanted to show you guys a little sneak preview of the next, or not the next one, because I've, I've got another one coming out, um, but the one of the secret guest names coming up, and that is the name Damon Hill, which is going to make this guy go super fast in his go-karts. I figured we'd just kind of have some fun with that and see how he does. Now, one of the frustrating things about naming someone Damon Hill in this game <laughs> is when they start back behind in the back of the group with the go-karts they'll just get stuck behind them for one because they're so much faster and people will just block their path but we'll see if this guy can end up eking his way to the front of the pack and he's only got two laps to do it you can see he's just stuck behind these slower people it's honestly kind of frustrating to watch 
There he goes. Now he's just got to pass up the second and first place guys, I think. You can see once he gets going how fast he can go. So he's, there's the second place guy. And here's first place. And he squeezes by him for the win right there. And then he'll take his victory lap as he passes up everybody else. So yeah, um, we're going to have some more secret guest name videos coming out in the future here. I don't know if episode 2, I've already got that recorded, I don't know if I'll put it up before or after I put out this video. Um, we'll see, because I do want to start the next Let's Play fairly soon. So, we'll see which one I decide to put out. Got our swinging inverted ship that's going to be coming in on October 2nd. So, we've got a little bit of time before that comes out. The next thing I want to do um, is show you guys how to look at you know, your guests' real names and change it. Um, if you go into the options, and you can see I just went down to guest real names and I clicked that. And now you can actually see which guests have been in the park the longest because they're um, the number is which guest came into the park so this guy is has been in the park longer than anybody that's 397 you can see he has no money <laughs> he just um, spent 10 cents on going to the bathroom <laughs> so um, he's been in the park for a while and he's gonna be leaving soon because he has no money and these parks seem to not offer cash machines if you remember all the cash machines I put into the park in the Million Dollar Mission series, um, they can be really helpful in keeping guests in the park. So that's just a quick little tip. And you can see Damon Hill was at the very top of that list because I renamed him. And once you do that, you can't see which guest they are anymore so I could rename him to guest one if I wanted to but he queued up right back in line for the go-karts I'm sure if you were faster than everybody else that would be your favorite ride too and it looks like the guests are enjoying even though the line length is super long in that go-karts as you can see how much it helps to just put an entertainer in that line and it's well worth it because people won't get angry and they'll actually enjoy the ride so I'm going to change the guest names back to real and that should uh, be good to go for us now. So we're in October, and that ride should be researching very quickly here. You can see how much profit we've already made there at the top after paying off our debt. Almost got over $5,000, so pretty good. We're making really good money now. And now our swing inverter ship has research, so let's go ahead and just throw it in here. Gonna look for a, po a spot to put it. I'm thinking right here, since there's nothing really for the guests to do right here besides walk by. So we'll go ahead and throw this um, on this edge of the park right here. Throw in some more mechanics because we're having some trouble with the Ferris wheel still. So I'm going to put in some more mechanics there. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is you can um, turn on information updates for guests. So. I'm going to go to Damon Hill here, find him in the guest. I'm going to go ahead and if you click the little eye there in the eye icon in the top right there, you will get information updates about whatever guests you want. Um, so we can 
you know, put the information thing on, and then when he ends up getting on the ride, it'll allow us to go, you know, just shoot over to him and watch him um, race the cars if that's what we want to do. So you can see it just gave us that update. Damon Hill is now on the go-karts. So we come over here and we click on him and then it will allow us to watch him ride this ride. So let's go ahead and do it. And you can see he is in the far back here now, so he's going to be trapped behind all <laughs> You can see see how much these guests just run into each other on the go-karts. And he's struggling to get make his way up to the front. See if we can. I just lost track of him, but we'll see if we can go and figure out which one he is just by the speed of his car. And I think he's too far behind now to be able to, to catch up to first place. And he lost. <clears throat> There's our first guest, first place guest right there. So that was a good waste of time. As we continue wait for this goal to be complete. Um, and then you can see we got some more updates about what he's doing. He's actually running out of money too, so he's gonna be leaving the park fairly soon so the next let's play series is I don't even remember the name of the park I'm, I'm gonna continue to just go straight through unless you guys have any special requests on parks that you would, you would like to see me play through um, so let me know if there if there's a specific park that you guys would let, like to see me do go ahead and put it in the comments, but I will let you know I haven't unlocked, I haven't even unlocked all of the parks in tier 2 yet. So you'll have to let, uh, just let me know if there's one in tier 2 that you'd like to see, but I'm going to continue through tier 1, which is like, I don't even remember the name of the next park, 3 Island, as you see, here's our completed goal. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to continue to go straight through the parks for now, unless we have any specific requests to move forward. So, thanks for watching, you guys. Um, let's go ahead and enter my name here. And then we're going to watch the balloon fireworks show. And we'll wrap this thing up. But uh, um, I was also saying for my next series, I actually haven't played through. This is as far as I played through on my own before I started recording was Trinity Islands. So the next one I've never played before. So you'll get to see um, how, I, how I think about that. <laughs> all right. See all the balloons here. We're going to go ahead and watch this fireworks show. And then we'll be done. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a like. If you liked the series, also give me a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about the episode and the series, and let me know what you'd like to see in the next series. I'll catch you guys then.